can't believe he took the block button. My stalkers are going to see my tweets. Everyone's going to be unsafe. Like, I'm going to be so harassed. Your stalkers can see it anyway. You do know that Twitter is and always has been public. You do know that Twitter has never been safe. Also, the block button is not being disabled. Yes, it is. I read about it. No, they're rolling features in together. With a complex app like Twitter, you'll have a number of people focused on one feature, okay? And often those things will work in parallel. So the block button, the mute button, reply functionality, all of those individual things have different people working on them. What they're doing is they're rolling in those features so that there's more people working on one piece of functionality. When you have an app that is that old, you'll often have legacy code. It's been bolted on over a number of years and all they're doing is rolling in the functionality. They're just consolidating features. Musk has said that they're improving the mute function and giving you more granular controls. No, Elon just wants me to be harassed. I doubt it. I doubt he knows who you are. But even if that were true, you do know that there's multiple people working at Twitter. You've got engineers, UX designers, product people, and they've been talking about revamping the privacy controls for some years now. You just haven't been paying attention to it. I disagree. Well, you're most welcome to disagree, but you need a basis. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of this app. I hate this app. I'm leaving this app. You're always leaving this app. You've been leaving this app since 2011. <laughs> I don't want people seeing my tweets. Then make your account private. No, but I want to grow my account. I can't grow my account if I'm a private account, can I? Then make them public and use all the other tools like mute and limiting replies. Also, block isn't going away. It's just changing. But then creeps are going to see my tweets. They can anyway. Also, maybe don't share pics of your feet if you don't want to attract creeps like victim blaming no i am saying that if you are getting a lot of creeps and trolls maybe don't share stuff that attracts creeps and trolls on a public forum maybe don't share feet pics in public don't share pics of your kids if you don't want pedos don't troll right wingers if you don't want right wingers arguing with you this is not hard i've seen your feet it's my right to post whatever I want. It's full of thirst traps and troll posts. What do you expect? I should be able to post whatever I want without, like, then you're going to attract creeps. I don't want creeps to see my stuff. They can anyway, or make your account private. I think there's something that can be done where they should make it so that if you reply to someone's tweet and uh, you're behind a private account, that can then be seen by the person that you're replying to. But uh, that's a design problem, and it's something that you could probably ask for in the uh, bugs and features community, which they do actually listen to. If they take the block button away, I'll be forced to see people that I hate. First of all, nobody is ever forced to see Twitter. You can just not see Twitter. Also, there's this thing called the mute button that still works. Um, I have muted Elon Musk, and it works fine. I don't see his stuff. I also have muted a lot of people. I mute keywords as well. I don't see it. That hasn't changed. You can also go into your preferences and mute words, keywords, accounts. Works pretty well. You won't see them. Yeah, but they'll still be able to harass me. They can't reply, engage, or retweet you. Besides, harassers can still do that by just opening you in a new window, a new private window, or logging out or using an alt. How is this hard? What are you talking about? But I want to control who sees my tweet. Then make them private. Or better, use a non-public app or a group chat. WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal, Facebook group. There's plenty of other options that are not a public fire. I want to grow my account. To grow your account, you have to put up with creeps. You wouldn't even understand what it's like. You're never harassed. Bitch. I've been on the internet since before there was a fucking block button. I literally made money on digital strategy for years and years. I have talked about platform manipulation. I have talked about troll farms. I have been targeted by every fuckwit that you could imagine. I've gone viral. I've been the main character for the day. I have been through it all. I have gone through so much shit online. You have no idea. Get out of here with that fucking victim bullshit. This privilege humping crap. If there was an actual problem, I would say that there was. I'm telling you, there's no real change here. 
I disagree. How can you disagree? On what basis? These are just facts. So what you're saying is that you want a company to keep a computationally expensive feature, doesn't do anything other than be used for block list abuse, uh, targeting, weaponized blocking, and can otherwise be achieved with a more robust mute and privacy controls, all because you refuse to understand how the app works. Is that what you're saying? Because you refuse to understand direct consequences like an adult, because you can't understand how you posting pictures of your feet might attract creeps, or how you posting pictures of your children might attract creeps, or you posting inflammatory shit might attract trolls, and you can't be bothered learning how the app works. You can limit replies, mute people, and all that functionality is there. You can train your For You feed. You can train your algorithm. I, I, what the fuck? It's all the fucking same. It works the same. I read that this is just because Elon gets blocked on the app and he wants to be able to see if, what people are saying about him. You do know that as the owner of the app, he can access that, right? Yes, he's a fuckwit. I've got problems with him being a fuckwit. However, it doesn't mean that this is a bad product idea and that there isn't a team of people dedicated to making a better product. Things aren't automatically bad just because you don't like the person saying it. Fact is, you're just pitching a fit. You see it as a badge of honor when someone blocks you and you get a nice little dopamine rush over that tiny little bit of power you get over blocking someone because they make you feel a little bit bad. You see it as a badge of honor to block and be blocked. You're part of the problem. You love being a cry bully. You love starting shit, poking the bear, and then the second anyone responds with something that challenges you just that little bit, you say, I disagree, you're wrong. And then rather than engage in a proper conversation based on reality and facts, you get to hide behind that block button and use it as a weapon. Come off it. Stop lying to yourself. You have full control over these tools. You have everything available to you and you refuse to use it because you're so brilliant and you are always right. Even though you never look anything up or check anything or learn how things work or read or do anything, you know everything because it's all about your feeling. It's not about facts. It's all about your feelings. And you feel like a victim because you don't know. And then someone says, here's the information. And you go, I disagree. And then you hit block. And that is the only way you get to feel powerful in your sad life. If you genuinely cared about victims in this situation, you would care about people like me who have been victims of block list abuse. You'd also care about the way that these troll farms target and manipulate vulnerable groups, unless you personally benefit from those sorts of tactics. In which case, well, because being blocked by 20,000 accounts, believe it or not, does actually affect someone's reach. And it, the algorithm sees that. If you really cared about victims, especially people who are targeting the left and, and left-wing groups, you care about truth, or are you just pitching a fit? Besides, they can still see your fucking tweets, but they'll be able to stalk me. They can stalk you now, but they can see my tweets. They can see them now. I want creeps to see my tweets and make it private. Control replies. Don't post shit that attracts creeps. Or even maybe think about whether Twitter is the place for you. How is this hard? I don't understand how this is hard. But then I can't grow my account. Nobody owes you free advertising, virality, and you aren't that fucking special. Everyone receives crap on the internet. You think you're special? Oh, fucking narcissism. To think that every single public figure doesn't get a shit ton of abuse and that's not at least part of the deal. And that you're somehow immune, that you should just have this like golden pathway for, for yourself. It's like, no, that's what everyone goes through. It's almost like life has trade-offs or something. It's almost like there's people who decide to not become public figures or have become public figures and then quit that shit because it's, there's a cost attached to it. But I don't want to be harassed. First of all, disagreement isn't harassment. There's only so much tech can do here without encroaching on people's rights. Besides, it's against EU law and the app stores uh, say that you, you have to have a block button. Actually, it states that users must be able to control who interacts with their account limit their exposure 
to unwanted content or users and effectively manage their online presence. Users can achieve this already through mute, reply controls and making your account private. Also, I believe you're referring to the Digital Services Act, which requires platforms to implement measures protecting users from illegal content and systemic risks. They need to provide easy to use tools for reporting illegal content and allow you to appeal decisions. Effects on fundamental rights, such as speech, freedom of expression, and all of those things. They've got to balance those things and ensure transparency in content moderation practices. You love the old Twitter so much, the proposed changes comply with these requirements. In fact, the announcement expressly states that they're working towards a more transparent approach. It's not illegal. One creeps to see, oh, for fuck's sake, they can already. You can still control what you see with the mute function which they're going to make better. You can control who replies. You can also make your account private. You can also not post shit that attracts creeps and trolls. And also there is always the option of using another app. Why are you defending harassment? Why are you bullying me? I've been a user advocate for my entire career. I know how these products work and how they're designed. I know how compliance works. I care about the platform's duty of care to users and I want them to have a greater duty of care. And I'm telling you, there is no fucking issue here. If there was, I'd be the very first person to say so. I disagree. And she fucking blocked me. <laughs>